Hey guys, this is Toad27 here, and I am here today with Cruz for the first episode of Game Debates. Mm hmm. Are you, yeah, are, you, are you eating right now? And, uh, no, I just went, mm hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, Cruz, you may explain the rules. Okay, the rules of Game Debates is there's at least three rounds. Me and T Toad get to name three topics which we have better or worse about the franchises we're defending. And once we run, once we just give up on one topic, we'll head to the next. Um, the oldest gets to go first, aka me, and then it will head to the next one if... And we have things called counters or comebacks. So let's say I said Skylanders, just for an example. Skylanders have much more play features as toys. Toad can mention Mr. Game & Watch from the Amiibos and, the, and stuff like that. That he actually does have a play feature as a toy, and then I could say only then I could say um, only Mr. Game and Watch has a feature, but nothing else. And then if Toad can't find a comeback after that, we head to what Toad has a problem with the Skylanders franchise. And then once we're done with all the topics on one paper, and if you didn't know, we write it down on a script. We'll head to the next. So there's that. Okay. Yeah. So Cruz. That that's all. And the, yeah. So we're starting with figures, then we're going to use ability, then games. So, Cruz, yes. start with figures. Okay. Oh, and also we're not allowed to interrupt while we're, uh... We can go, like, uh, may I please object? Kind of like that? Yeah, but once I'm finished the sentence. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start with... Skylanders are much more easier to find, and you do not need to lose hundreds of dollars, such as eBay. They have... Been, uh, amiibos have been being restocked fairly frequently. Um, I can only think of a couple that haven't been restocked yet, and they are still being restocked. And yeah, I'm gonna go with. I do have a counter for that. Is that all the people who did buy the amiibos before they were restocked were still tricked into buying them off eBay from scalpers and. Yeah. Says the man who bought the Air Minis for about $100 on eBay. Yeah, but we have to do it with the franchise, and it's not just our personal goal. Skylanders does- yeah, but that's still not as bad as, like, eight figures instead of four. Skylanders only struggled with about four. Per Honestly, looking at Amiibos online, the highest one we'll get is 200, and that's only We Fit, Trainer, uh, Marth, and Villager, and even those characters are being restocked. So, you can, some of the characters are still harder to find, but you still only pay about double the price of regular Amiibo instead of hundreds. Yes, except still, it would be much easier to go just to the store and buy them for at least half. I got nothing. Okay. I'm yes! Okay. I'm moving on to my next point. There are lots of amiibos. There are 80 plus figures, and then even more if you count all the amiibo cards. So, you're saying, like, figures and toys for Skylanders? There's not that many? I'm saying something good about amiibos. Oh, so I need to counter it. Sure. Okay, so I need to counter. Well, Skylanders have much more figures. Not to mention that they're so, um, some back in the day, such as, um, old figures, if you go to stores like GameStop and EB Games, you can buy them for probably half the price. You can get a Chop Chop figure for only $3 instead of going to, an, going to a store and buying an Amiibo for probably, fi do they go for like 15 bucks? That's roughly the price. Yeah, you can get, think of that. Three dollars for a character who perfectly works in any game, and you still have to buy. Well, they work in. You can buy probably the green base, one of the green base figures for only three dollars, and they'll work in any game ahead. And for amiibo, yeah, not to not to mention there may only be amiibo cards, except there's also for Skylanders trophies, magic items. Um, vehicles, and traps, stuff like that. May I bring up those prices? So, currently- If you wanted to, you can do that in the next round. 
How it places happen? you have to like because it's a separate topic. You would bring it up in the next round for prices. Okay then, I will go to my next point. Yeah, yes, yeah. It has to be on how they're the more toys are better than the Skylanders franchise. All the amiibos have amazing, uh, detailed designs, and they're characters people recognize instead of new characters that people have to think they want. You've got iconic characters like Mario, Luigi, Link, Kirby, all these iconic Nintendo characters in a nice, simple figurine that is also usable in games. For Skylanders, in that sake, you can use... The, they're making characters that are new, now recognizable. For when Skylanders first came out, you couldn't recognize who Gilgrunt was or anybody, but now if you go to a school, you can see them on children's backpacks, and then you can notice who they are now. So even though they're making new characters, now they are still recognizable. And and now with the new figures, such as the Deep Dive Gilgrunt, um, they now notice that, hey, that's Gilgrunt. That's a new Gilgrunt. I want to buy that because I like that character. But Skylanders has... Force those characters to be recognizable. Like, they forced characters like Gilgrunt and all that. The only characters that were originally from video games before the original game, before the original Skylanders, was Spyro and Cinder. A and Sparks. But he's now a man's good. Anyway, um. Hmm. I'll give you that one. Do you have any more points left? Yes. On my paper. You can bring up prices next one, but now let's see. I wrote down a few. You do not need the figures for any of the games. Meaning, like, amiibos, you have to buy, like, let's say you go to the store and bought a Toad amiibo. You can only use them in Mario Party and, yeah, stuff like that. You don't, and you don't know that. Some people don't know that. Only by the base. Uh, is that your end of your yeah. sentence currently? Yes. These characters are also figurines. They're not meant to just be a usable toy like Skylanders. They're also meant to be detailed in figurine sense. And sometimes they are only used for one game. Uh, they have li limited usability. But amiibos are not necessary to play the game. They're an enhancement of the game. Can I, I'm going to bring a second one of my arguments. But this sort of goes, it, it can also be sort of used as a comeback. This is more heading into, with this one, it's more heading into uh, compatibility, not just the figures. We'll talk more about the uh, them being used in game in the next round, but, um, I'll give you that one. So, uh, are we moving on to usability? Yeah. Wait, I think I have one more. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I already brought it up. Okay, next. It's round two. How the figures, figures are used. Toad, I'll let you start off this one. So, I'm just going to bring up prices to begin with. So an amiibo retails for about $15. Actually, wait, before round two. Yeah, this would be round one. Never mind, head back to round one. Okay. This would be, yeah, Toad, just go head back to your sentence. Prices? Yeah, prices. Prices is still round one. Yeah, because that technically counts as figures. Bringing up prices. An amiibo retails for about $15. Comparing it to Skylanders, Giants retailed for $15, Swappers retailed for $15, Trappers retailed for $15, Superchargers retailed for $15, and Vehicles retailed for 20 Even more than a figure. Can I bring up- you also forgot the minis. But! I'm gonna bring up again! Back in the day with Giants, they still brought out regular core figures. Meaning if you didn't want to buy a regular- you know, let's say you had 10 bucks, you went to the store, and you couldn't afford the Trap Master. You could still buy a regular figure. Like, uh, here, let me find it. Treadhead. There's an example. You could go and buy Treadhead, or a core figure. 
They still work fine, they just can't do the special abilities, but still, you get one of those in the starter pack. So, really, you just need Snapshot. That's about it. So, my argument is that Skylanders are necessary for the game, and you need to keep buying them. Like, the starter pack costs about $80 every year, if not more. And with Amiibos, you just need a game that functions with it. For Skylanders, all you get is the Skylanders game. With Amiibos, all it does is enhance the game you have already bought to play, but Amiibos just add on to that experience. Oh, I got a good one for this for the counter. But this more heads into round two, but I'm still going to use it. For Amiibos, you have to sometimes to use them in some games. You have to reset all of its data. All of it. And let's say you, that means that you have to go to the store and buy a new one, and that costs about thirty dollars for the same figure. For Skylanders, you get to wait, I, 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 I. for Skylanders, you get to choose if you want the same figure, if you want a series two or not. But for Amiibos, you have no choice but to either reset it and lose all that data and have to do all that crap again, or buy a new figure which heads to at least thirty dollars. There are only three games that Amiibos are necessary to have all the game saves on them. Smash Bros, Mario Party 10, and Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. All three of those games have their own Amiibo line. Oh boy, we're really heading into round two because we're heading into, like, the gameplay. Okay, but well then let's just start round two to say. No, we'll have to, we'll have to finish this up until one of us quits. Okay, and now I have my finish. next one. I have my finished. next one. I'm not finished. Okay. In these games, you have your own line of amiibos. The Mario from the Smash Bros. line and the Mario from the Mario Party 10 line are completely different figures. Totally different poses, different faces, and they're meant to be different. And plus, the amiibo functionality in Mario Party 10 is barely even part of it. I... I hate- I honestly hate the game, but out of that, even the game comes with the Mario- the, um, Mario Party 10 Mario Amiibo. Only in a bundle, though. It costs ten more dollars for the bundle. I feel like half the people who bought the game bought the bundle. Okay, here's- okay, this is one that- let me just find it here. No. Here we go. Some games that. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Let's head into round two. Okay. Told you're currently at three if we were counting points, but we're not really. So. Round two. D who gets to start here? Who did the last one? I'm pretty we sure. Started last time. Okay. Yo, start. So this is about so gameplay. This is about usability. Yeah, usability and gameplay. Sorry. To, oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah, it's about usability. <laughs> Sorry. For, for Amiibos, the functionality is built into those systems. Except for the exception of the regular 3DSs, but Amiibos came out after the original 3DSs. But they did make a way for you to use them using the NFC reader, which was about 15 or $20, I think. Which is heavily worth it if you like using your Amiibos. With Skylanders, you have to buy a, like, $20 portal just to use them. Yeah, but at least you don't have to, for one, here, I do have something on this to counter it. You would have to constantly tap if you want to save the Amiibo's data. Put a Skylander on the portal, they'll, they'll save all of its data. And in Superchargers... They did notice this as a problem, so they took it so if you used an old portal, you can use it now in the newer games. So, like, let's say you own a Trap Team portal, you can use that if you wanted to. If you owned a Giants portal, you can use that. So, portals aren't really a problem anymore. You just need to buy the game online and maybe buy a Spitfire from a recycled pile at EB Games or GameStop. To you. Hmm? Sorry, what did you say? 
portals aren't a problem anymore. Because you can buy the digital version and you can literally just grab... You can just go to the EB Games or GameStop, buy a recycled figure, and use that. Because you can use the new downloadable version off your any game system except for the Wii. But with these game systems, say, uh, just for instance, you're getting the downloadable version for Xbox 360. Yeah. You got Trap Team. You got Trap Team, uh, Superchargers, Trap, er, um, Giants, and Spyro's Adventure on a different console. You need to go buy a new portal. Because you can only use a portal that has been made for Xbox. Yeah, but then you'd have to buy the game again. No matter what, if you're getting it on a different system, then you'd have to buy the game again no matter what. Exactly, which makes a flaw in your point. Here brings my one to that. They may struggle with gameplay with needing to buy a new system, but any Skylander, like let's say you did move to Superchargers on from Xbox to Xbox One, you may have had to play the whole campaign again, but all of your Skylanders remember everything they did. Your vehicles will remember the mods they did. Your Skylanders remember everything they did. And same as Amiibo, they do that. But you're allowed to switch them over to other systems. I can move my Trap Trap to a Wii U, an Xbox One, or a PS4. Any of those because the Skylanders is on any console. You can't bring your Amiibo to your friend's house expecting them to have a Wii U and they are uh, and they actually have a PS4 and th and this sort of heads into figures but Amiibo unlike Skylanders with their vehicle toys their vehicle toys do move but the Amiibo toys don't do anything they j except for maybe Mr. Game & Watch with his switchable things okay so Mr. Game & Watch yeah he's got his four I think four switchable things but with amiibos, they were not me meant to be, like, they were not meant to be, like, functional toys that you could, like, play with in your hands. They were meant to be also figurines. Like, they are detailed figurines. If you compare an amiibo to a Skylander, me amiibos are a bit more detailed. And also bringing something, or, do you have a counter to that? Yeah. I, I have a counter to that. Go with that. Skylanders, like they said, are toys. They may be figurines, but still, figurines are still toys. Meaning, let's say uh, you have a niece or a nephew, and they come over to your house, and they see this plastic figurine on the top. I actually, uh, this is sort of a real-life situation, but I'll bring it into here. I once brought um, a Zook toy. This was before they had movable parts. To, um, so this would be like Amiibo. I brought a Zook toy to my friend's house who's really little. He, I got it for, it for him for like a birthday present. He broke the toy because he wanted to play with it. But now that they made movable parts, that's not an issue. But let's say you brought, um, I'm trying to think here, which, uh, Amiibo has, ah, here we go, Mario. That, like, let's say you brought that to a little kid. He would break that fireball off to pretend that he's playing with it. Figurines do s are still toys, technically. None of the Skylander figures have toy features. It's only the vehicles. Here's my next thing. Amiibos... Have nothing to do, ha do nothing when you put, um, when you put it on. They don't have special figures with the toys. Unlike with giant, with Skylanders, all the giants have light core in them, meaning they glow. All the traps, if you put them in the Traptanium portal, will actually look like they're talking. So they do actually bring the portal with the game. The portal actually does act with the game. Unlike you just tap them onto the gamepad, nothing really happens. In Skylanders, let's say you're using a portal master power. You would have to take your Skylander off and then you put him back on and then he would get um, his a little bit of his health back. Nothing happens with Amiibo if you take it off uh, except for it saving the data. Which Skylanders easily surpassed um, by day one. Amiibos are different than Skylanders. Amiibos are different than all the Toys to Life games. 
Amiibos are not necessary to play any game. They're an enhancement. Like, if you compare the Amiibos to Skylanders, Disney Infinity, Lego Dimensions, any of those. Oh. Amiibos are... I have, a big, I have a big counter for this. Sorry, I think I interrupted you. Yes, you did. Sorry. Amiibos are different. They're not built to be made for games. They're built to enhance your gameplay. With Smash Bros, they're built to be a an enhanced computer. In Mario Party 10, they're your game pieces. In Animal Crossing, nope, not even gonna use that game. So you, yeah, you understand what I mean. Yeah, here comes mine. I have a very big counter for this. Yes? You really don't need Amiibos. Exactly. They're but that can work to its downfall. How? If they're selling these things, for you to buy, you should expect more from them. Like, let's, they should at least release an amiibo based game. Not like Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Like, let's say it's like a video game, sort of like Mario, but, well, any game really. Like, I don't know how I'd put it. Not like Smash, but like. You know how Skylanders has, or Lego Dimensions has the story that all these worlds collide to fight down one big bad guy who's threatening to break all of them? Nintendo should do something like that, because if you mention Smash, technically, it doesn't have, you're not supposed to focus on the story. I'm saying you should have a game with Amiibos, focused on Amiibos, that are all met, that are compatible with every single Amiibo, in one game, and you're supposed to play as them, not them being a compatible piece. But you're trying to make it like Skylanders, and all these others. Amiibos are not built to be like Skylanders, or any of these other Toys to Life games. Amiibos are different. Amiibo Festival. Shut. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to mention Amiibo Festival. There is a game that uses ju that is built for Amiibo. It's called Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Okay. Can I talk? Yeah, you can. You can. Do you have anything countered for that? Just slightly. Okay. Amiibo tap, kind of, is what you're talking about. Not overly, but you're trying to make it like Skylanders, and Amiibos are not Skylanders. Yes, it would be cool if they make an. Amiibo I, I know. I mean, like a game that they're used in. Like there is an actual game. Do you have anything to counter? Amiibo yes. tap, and okay, before just shoot for a second. There's not a complete enhanced game where uh, you use amiibos fully, because amiibos aren't built around games, or games aren't built around amiibos. Amiibos are built around games. And also, with your argument about amiibos are unnecessary. The thing that makes you want to buy Amiibos is because they're your favorite characters that you want to get. With Skylanders, you are mandatory to get figures and shell out cash. With Amiibos, you can do it at free will. I can argue with part of that. Skylanders, you don't have to buy figures. You can complete the entire story with a land vehicle and a regular figure. The reason why there's other figures out, out there is for collectors. Let's say they want to find a favorite character, they'd buy that figure, try it out, and here comes a big argument. Skylanders, you can buy them in the box, put them on the portal, let's say you don't like that figure, just reset it, bring it back to the store, give it back, buy a new figure. Amiibos, they have that base under them, so you're not allowed to keep them in the box. So you're not allowed to keep them in the box, meaning you have to open them and then buy the same figure again to keep them in the box to put them on display. Skylanders, you don't need to do that. You can keep them in the box if you want. There. Fair point. I have nothing to counter that. I won that round. Would you like to move on to games? No, I still have a few things, except I think I've used Oh, okay. No, I used that. So... Okay, some games that value around Amiibos have no purpose. For example, why would you buy another Amiibo in Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival? Why would you buy another character like 
Oh gosh, I don't know Animal Crossing's names, but why would you buy like KK Slider? Lucky. Let's say you had a KK Slider figure. Why would you buy an Isabel one? Because they're different. You want? Do they just look different, or do they have any special powers differently? You interrupted me. Sorry. They are game pieces. In Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which I'm not going to defend heavily, they are used as game pieces as if you're playing a board game with your Amiibos. They may not be used the best, and what you're explaining with an Amiibo-based game is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which was done not great. But still, that is what you asked. That is what is there. And also, the figures are different, or the, uh, the characters in, I don't know much about the game, but they are different, because they act differently, they are different, like, they're different characters physically. Yeah, but th then again, what's the point in buying another one? So you can play with more friends. It supports up to eight players, so then you would need eight amiibo from that series. I don't agree with that at all, but that's what it is. I can count to it! Bad, very well, or something. Scoundrels you don't have to buy a ton of figures. You can just. That's the point. Let's say you got five figures each year. All of them can work in any game, meaning five times five um, is 25. Pardon me? <laughs> my math, my math is bad. Anyway, let's say you bought five figures each year. They still work fine, including the starter pack character, which can do. All the stuff you want, they just recommend you buy more figures, but you don't have to. They don't force you to. Amiibo festivals, if you want to play with more than one person, you have to run to the store, buy a new figure, no matter what, just to play with your other friend. It's more than two people because the starter bundle comes with two figures. Yes, but they said they're going to get rid of one of them. They're just going to move it to one Isabel. Well, currently marketing it, there are two. But eventually, they, they are telling you. Currently, there are two. <laughs> this debate is currently. Yes, except I could still counter it with that. That, yes, you are going to need to buy another one later. Can I please just give up on defending Amiibo Festival? And can we just say that's a bad game and it used Amiibos poorly? Yeah. Okay, but thank I... you. <laughs> I'm getting you. I'm getting you. <laughs> I'm getting you. Tone, am I breaking you currently? No. <laughs> you okay, I'm gonna see if I have any more. I think I haven't used my tone. Okay, here we go. You always have to tap the figures. Unlike with Skylanders, you never need to constantly put your figures down. And I am not, and um, before you ask, I'm not um, talking about stuff like, I'm talking about the big amiibo games, like, that have a, a ma an amiibo game mode like Smash and um, Smash uh, Mario Party 10 and Amiibo Festival. I'm talking about those ones, not um, where you only need to tap them once, like uh, Mar uh, Mario Kart or Mario Maker, Mario Kart, Mario Maker, stuff like that. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about where you constantly need to tap and save your data multiple times, like. That. Okay. And uh, and before, and I forgot to mention one thing. And you only really need to do that w at least if you're changing a character with Skylanders or you're using a Portal Master, but it power, but that doesn't constantly annoy you. For a the only time, uh, the, wait, uh, the only time that really does actually happen is you're using it in Nightmare Mode, but that's your choice. So. For every play session with Amiibos in. Okay, Smash Bros, because Mario Party 10 and um, Amiibo Festival are very tedious with the Amiibos, since every time it's your turn, you have to pick it up and tap it. That works against you. Sort of. I said that they did not use it great, but they still used Amiibos in a, an inclusive way. Mm -hmm. In Smash Bros, for every Amiibo you play with, for a session, you only need to tap it twice. Wants to get it in the game and wants to get it out of the game. Saving. Okay, actually, I'll let you continue. Sorry, Michael. All it is with Skylanders is because the base is smaller for the amiibo pad because it is just a simple like 
probably a couple square inches built into a controller that is not necessary to buy again. Like, for portals, you have to buy a new one every year. If you want to get the special features that each portal has. Okay, are you done? Yes. Okay, I have two counters for that. Wait. One with the portals, again, the thing, if you bought the Trap Team one, it'll work with anyone. There's that. And also, wait, what was the first thing you said about Amiibos? Forgot. Is that the pad is on, is built into a controller, so it's, it can only be a couple square inches. And for Smash Bros, you only have to tap it twice oh. in a play session. Okay, I know here. Let's say you use multiple Amiibos. That means you have to grab them, place them, place them, place them, probably taking up to three minutes, just placing your Amiibos down, and doing that. The maximum amount of Amiibos you can have in Smash Bros. is eight. Eight times two is 16. That would probably take you roughly a minute and a half. Yes, but let's say, yes, but that doesn't count the times they can get corrupted. I mean, or what does it say when you take it off too early? Error, and it says... It, it will say, take it off, when it needs to be taken off. Yes, but then you have to do it all over again. Yes, because it was your fault in the first place, whoever didn't wait. Okay. Any, well, so you have a count for that. Let me see. So. Okay, this is getting really long. Can we just move on to games? Okay. I'll, I'll give you that one. Round three, the games. You start with games. Okay. Skylanders have five games, and if you buy one of one from, like, let's say you buy from the beginning and keep heading on, and, like, let's say you buy um, the first Skylanders game, the second Skylanders game, the third Skylanders game, the fourth Skylanders game, and the fifth Skylanders game, all your characters from that game will all move on to the sequels. You can move, you can move them all forward. So if you buy the newest Skylanders game, all of your characters will work. Would you like to continue with any more points? Or? No. Okay. So with what you're saying is for the five games, all the figures work perfectly. For, yeah. to, for those five games for you to buy, you've just spent $400 on those five games. Yeah. <laughs> this sort of works against you. Um, but... You could also, counting those games, remember that all the figures that you could only buy those games. Think of only buying those games, only buying those games. You would get all of your figures, like let's say you would have Spyro, Gilgrunt, Trigger Happy. Next game, you get Cinder, Jetpack, and Tree Rex. Then you would get, and, and because you're, you haven't bought any of the figures, just the starter packs, you won't need to worry about series two or three, and those are your choice to buy. So you would get those characters, and then um, you would get Stealth Elf, but she's in a ninja ninja costume now, so it's not that bad. And then you'd get the Trap Team, and finally Superchargers, and now Stealth Elf is all new character. So all of them work, and all of them are different figures. With a uh, meat and uh, yeah, I'll content. Now you can go. Nope, continue your point. What? Continue your point, because you said now with Amiibos. Okay, I, okay. Now with Amiibos, you have to buy, like, let's say you, I, gosh, I need to think here. Because <laughs> I just, it just came out of my mouth. Uh, this was not wrong. <laughs> Damn. You have a counter for that. For what? For my first sentence. A recap of what your first sentence was? Just a little recap? Yes. Let's say you bought all the games. You still have all those characters. Like, let's say you just bought the starter packs. Oh, wait, now I remember what I was going to say about Amiibos. Let's say you bought all those starter packs. You'd still have, like, sit, you'd have all these characters. Which left really goes... You'd have over ten. You'd have at least eleven figures if you bought every game. Which left really heads, roughly heads to seventy. Each game, probably, and not, just mention this, Giants, 
you could get it for only sixty dollars. So that means no, you're only really spending three hundred and ninety. And for amiibos, they all cost fifteen bucks. And sure, they may be all your favorite characters, but um, let's say ever hear of the addiction craze with amiibos that you just keep buying them. You just want to collect them all, but then okay, here comes my next. What happened with Skylanders and all the Toy Story Life series? No, not Disney Infinity. Okay, all of them. Wait, 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 I'm not finished my topic. But, Skylanders restocks constantly. This sort of heads into the one, uh, the first one, but Skylanders restocks constantly. Amiibos just started to restock. Because they noticed on how successful it's getting. That's because Amiibos came out a year ago. Yes. But, Skylanders has been around for at least... They sh here's one that I have. They should have took pointers. Like, they should have took pointers like Skylanders. First time it came out, it was a craze. Like, you couldn't find a boomer or a bouncer. Or a boomer. A boomer or a bouncer. I'm just going to say that. A boomer or a bouncer. But now that they know that they're restocking, um, they know what. They should have known what to do from day one. That, yeah, these are Nintendo characters. People are going to love these. We should. They should have took pointers that they should have restocked. The Disney Infinity CAO. CEO said it himself that, for one, making people wait, like the gold Mario amiibo, for each store, I'm pretty sure only each store had 10 of those. He said that's horrible to do to your customers. Why are you using Disney Infinity to defend yourself when this is amiibo versus I could say that, I could, that's the only company that I really know that said it. I'm pretty sure other companies would say it, just... That's the only one that I actually know that did say it. May I get on to my points about the games? Well, do you have a counter for mine? I don't think so. Okay, your turn. So, Amiibos are used in multiple games, like Smash, Mario Maker, Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Kart 8. A couple games I don't really want to mention. <laughs> um, and they are used in all unique ways. Smash Bros. They're C they're can they're kind of controlled CPUs. Mario Maker. They give you special costumes. Yoshi's Woolly World. They give you new Yoshi designs. In um, Mario Kart 8, they give you racing suits. Like they are used in so many unique and cool ways. With Skylanders, all you do is play as them, which is cool, but it gets a little repetitive. Is there anything else you want to say? That's all I have for my points on games. You have to own all those games. Skylanders may need to buy five games, but for each one of these games that you're mentioning, could head retail to $40 each. Let's say you're not a big Nintendo fan. You would have to buy one of those games, and that it. So it will get repetitive eventually. Like, let's say you're using a Mewtwo amiibo. It'll eventually get boring just fighting him. So then you'd then you'd have to buy another game, and these all stack up because there's much more Nintendo games than there is Skylanders. Skylanders are very limited. Amiibos are much broader. Yes, but you still have to own those games, and that's big to your wallet. Skylanders, you can choose if you want to buy the figures. If you don't, if you don't want to you don't have to amiibos only a few work with some games and only some like let's say you bought a toad amiibo and you didn't like you're new to nintendo you bought a toad amiibo and he can't work in that and then you you can't he can't work in smash then you want then you have to go and buy mario party 10 and then you find that it's really crappy and then yeah But amiibos aren't necessary. Yes, except we're still doing it so that they're we're still you're still needing to defend them. You can't just defend Nintendo. You have to defend the things, the the, the amiibos. Okay, let me try this. This is probably more figures, but this is all I have. Amiibos are multiple things, like, there have been Animal Crossing Amiibos, and Smash Bros. Amiibos, and they've even done a couple one-off Amiibos, 
of Chibi Robo Amiibos. And something that was game changing, or not game changing, but really cool, is that they made Amiibos out of yarn. Have you ever seen Skylanders done anything like that? Yep. They make flocked characters. Stuck, but they are too. To sort of hit on myself, those characters are really rare, but they have made characters such as fuzzy characters and stuff like that. But I can counter that, such as. They may be multiple things, but. Oh, how did I add? Literally, it just got out of my head. Curse my ADHD. Um. I'm trying to think here. The sky, like, for one, Skylanders, like you, oh, now it came back. All the things that you said, that they all are from different things, well, then that will, like, let's say you are actually using them as toys. Skylanders, they all look like they're from the same world. You can play as them as toys. They all look like they came from the same place. But let's say you brought a toad next to a fox. That would look that that the kids don't know what to do with that. Use their imagination. Maybe Fox tra uh, got sucked into a portal and he traveled to the Toadland. Yeah, but then you. Then, then, then. It's called imagination. This is really hanging into figures, but I, I don't know. Yeah, except for Skylanders. Think of this. You would have to pay extra if you wanted to buy, um, a bundle. Let's say, and not, and, yeah, you'd have to buy, oh, wait, no, here. It's called Imagination, but for the collectors, it can get really rough out there. For the collectors, heading to the Walmarts at 6 in the morning to get one gold Mario Amiibo, and you can't. It's hard for collectors. Sure, it's kids, like you said, imagination, but what about for the diehard collectors? Like, for me, I don't actually play with my Skylanders. I just, um, I like to collect them. What about for people who want, like, a gold Mario amiibo? They have to run to the store, buy, like, get in line, buy a golden Mario amiibo. They have to buy an entire, and I know that, like, you said at the time, so I guess you can count to this here. But you'd have to buy an entire Wii U to get the special Mario uh, Maker Amiibo. I don't understand your point. Sure, kids get to have um, their imagination. So if you give them any amiibo, they'll be fine with that. But collectors want to try to catch them all. Like, to get them all. Yes. Meaning that you would sometimes, people don't know if a figure will be re-released or not. Or you just have to buy them in a bundle. You would have to buy the entire, that means that they didn't, they might not like, oh, here's a good one. They didn't know the Rob with the red arm, the Famicom Rob, was going to be released. So they imported, probably costing at least, I don't know, probably, I'm guessing over $30, just to get this Famicom amiibo, and then they find out that it was released in America. Has this not happened with Skylanders, where Skylanders are hard to find? You have to import them from weird places. This is not... This is not a new concept to the Toys to Life series. This is not a new concept of restocks being scarce and people not being able to get the figures they want. This is not a new concept. This has happened with Skylanders, Disney Infinity, and Lego Dimensions. It's happened when with did, all of them. When did it happen? Oh, okay, I guess that's... Sort okay, of... fine. I'll say it's happened with Amiibos and Skylanders. Skylanders sure it happened in Wave 1, except you still could find figures very easily and not... Here's something, they still redesigned those figures in different ways. Like, now you can buy a Wham Shell, now you can buy a Wornado, and now you can buy, buy a Camo. They're all remade, and they look, and they can work in all the past games, and they look pretty cool. So 
assuming they have new designs? Yeah, they may. They now they all got new designs for all the people who wanted to use them before. And they all get special features now. Camel now gets his pumpkin ability. Whamshell now gets lights up any game you use him on. And Warnado also light, lights up, and probably the coolest way with his shell. Amiibos, any restocked ones, they designed with the same features, like uh, when they brought back Villager, he looked the same. When they brought back, back We Fit Trainer, she looked the same. Because it was a restock, not a new figure. It may be a restock, except they. I'm just saying, Skyliners did it in a new way. But then the collectors want to collect the original version and that new version. Yes, except that's. Think of GameStop. If you head over there, you can find an old figure for less price now. People don't want some Skylanders, so let's let's say um, they brought a Wham shell. There's still a chance you can find. I've pretty sure I saw a camo, an original camo, multiple times at uh, games, um, EB Games, and he has been so rare. They are really easy to find now. They have been, like, the originals, very easy to find. This is 45 minutes. Can we just stop? Okay. This anyway, I guess we should... Guys wait, wait, Toby, we need to say... Ah! This is more a debate about who, you guys. You guys get to pick, so comment... Um, Skyliners, Amiibos, and we'll announce it in the next. Who wins, Skyliners or Amiibos? We will announce it in uh, two Sundays from now. So, uh, episode three, we'll announce it so that you guys have two weeks to vote. No, I thought we were going to do it just one week. Two weeks. It's okay. Two weeks. So, we hope you guys enjoyed this first debate. It was really long. The other ones shouldn't be this long. Yeah, we should leave it. How about this? Next debate, we should only have three comebacks and talk. 30 minutes tops for the next debate. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And the question of the day, there are two questions for your comments. What do you think about the Amiibo Skylanders? And, um... Yeah, just put that up here on better, or which, which of us debated better and which one is better, Amiibos or Skylanders? So that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!